Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is butternut squash ravioli. The first step you will be doing is you'll take around a quarter of a butternut squash and you will steam it. Once your butternut squash is fully peeled and chopped, you throw it into a steamer. Now, if you do not have a rice cooker or a special steaming pot, um, just putting it in some hot boiling water and letting it boil over high heat for a little bit will do the job as well. Now, over here, I have a rice cooker and I steamed it for around 30 minutes that it was very very soft to the touch that just pushing on it um, mashed it up right away the next step is very important you need to make sure that your surface is extremely clean because when you are making the dough you need to knead it on a flat surface not in a bowl now the ingredients you'll be needing for the noodles is two cups of flour three eggs a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of oil you'll make a well in the flour add the three eggs add your oil salt and slowly slowly mix it in you could start off with a fork and then slowly start using your hands it's easier to use your hands from the beginning and every time you feel like the dough is falling apart just throw a little add a little bit of oil to make sure the dough is all getting together once your dough is kneaded, you need to cover it in, in plastic wrap and set it aside. My butternut squash was ready by then, and what I did was that I mashed it up and I separated it. The seasonings you will be needing is chili powder, allspice, basil, and salt. You will be needing only a teaspoon of each and half a cup of mozzarella cheese if you like um, cheesy ravioli. Add in all your seasoning, give it a nice stir, then after that start working with your noodles. You're going to uh, cut the, the dough into small pieces and roll it out. Um, I did make two different shapes. If you want to do a normal square shape, that is extremely easy. You just use a pizza cutter or a normal knife to cut out the square shapes. Um, this part is a little hard because you need to give a lot of um, pressure to the dough to get it nice and uh, thin. Once your dough is rolled out, just um, make some shapes to put in the filling, uh, top it with another shape, seal it with water or egg wash, and a fork really helps um, crimping the sides so that it ensures that nothing falls out when you boil it. Um, on the side, have some boiling water, so around uh, six cups of water already boiling with a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of oil. You make sure the water is boiling before you add in your ravioli. Once your ravioli is in, cover and boil for around uh, 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. This tastes really good. Uh, this tastes really good if you just put some uh, garlic chili oil on top or you could top you could put this on top of some marinara sauce and top with parmesan and parsley it tastes beautiful like that any extra ravioli you could put it on a tray let them freeze once they're frozen throw them in a ziploc bag so they do not get freezer burn This also tastes good with some melted or baked cheese over. Uh, the kids loved it with some baked cheese ov uh, over the top. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And stay tuned for more videos.